Welcome to this week's MTA Queensland Industry Newsletter. Can I start with a note to Spanner in Townsville? We've got three great videos of myself and Spanner. Unfortunately, we don't have sound that went with them. So Spanner, we'll send them to you, but we couldn't run them this week. But this week, having travelled regional Queensland, everyone's talking about electric vehicles. That's not because everyone's seeing them yet, but they understand that there's something happening in the automotive world. So we're introducing a series of skills-based courses so anyone can access the latest knowledge around how to safely deal with a range of electric equipment in their workplaces. It's a real pleasure for me to introduce really the person who's driving our new agenda, Nigel Palmer of MTA Queensland. Nigel, welcome. Thank you. Nigel, tell, tell our members all about yourself. Uh, my background is originally from Mitsubishi Motors. Uh, I started working on EVs back in 2010 with the introduction of the iMove. Progressed onto the PHEV and literally worked right through to the current model one with them. So you can see Nigel's background's perfect for what we're trying to communicate to you. So Nigel, what about what, what, what micro-credentials are we putting in place and why do you think they're important for members, regardless of their exposure to electric vehicles, to start immersing themselves in? The micro-credentials we're putting together have two main backgrounds. What we're doing is we're trying to take the stigma away from EVs, take the scare, take the, all that bad stuff out of them, and give you a respect for them. That's all you need to work on these things. The second one is safety, and that's the most important one as far as I'm concerned. For the plain and simple reason, we're dealing with big voltages here. Yes, the micro-mobility stuff that I've just been working on, that you're about to see, starts at around about 12 volts, but it also goes through to 300 volts. The light vehicle that we're looking at starts at around the 300 volts and continues up from there. Then we're going into heavy vehicles at the moment, Rod. Yeah, wow. What we're doing with that is we're looking at light trucks right through to semi-trailers and even going into mining equipment and that sort of thing. And those ones get up to a thousand volts in that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of safety that goes in behind these micro-credentials. And they're not to be scared of. They've just got to have a good respect. So the micro-credentials are really designed so you and your technicians, even your salespeople, can understand if a vehicle turns up in the yard or in the workshop, how to, as Nigel says, not be afraid of them, but to safely manage them. Please have a look at our website. You'll see new credentials appearing constantly. There's already a really good array of them there and they're really cheap. Please have a look and educate yourself and your staff. See you next week.